What to Play presents the 32 upcoming Google Stadia games. Assassin's Creed Odyssey The third-party game Google chose to showcase the power of their new platform, Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed Odyssey, definitely looked smooth in their most recent presentation. Partnering with them on Project Stream, we got to see how Google's new tech fared in bringing the Greek-inspired open-world adventure to even the most rudimentary of today's PC that can run the Google Chrome browser. Baldur's Gate 3 Still an unreleased title featuring Larian Studios' upcoming take on the classic isometric RPG will be interesting to see on the platform. Already landing the RPG's best off lists, we can't wait to see what they can do to the game's Dungeons & Dragons-based universe. The first main Baldur's Gate entry in almost two decades, it's only apt that it breaks into the modern video game generation with Google's special new gaming platform. Borderlands 3 The epic loot shooter is coming to the Google Stadia. This long-awaited sequel returns with more satisfying loot for players to pick up and a massive skill tree system to enjoy. This new entry includes a fresh approach to its story themes and an importance of sirens and interplanetary travel. It comes out this September 13th. Darksiders Genesis the latest entry to the Darksiders lore announced on this year's E3. A spin-off rather than a main Darksiders installment, Genesis veers away from the series' usual third-person action-adventure to offer a Diablo-like action RPG experience. For Torchlight fans, this might be your chance to get in on the Darksiders apocalyptic universe. Destiny 2 After detaching themselves from Activision's hands, Bungie returns in all its glory. Now leaving Blizzard's launcher, Destiny 2 moves to Steam and shifting its game into a free-to-play model not including its DLCs and its standalone Shadowkeep expansions. The new Destiny flourishes with its new cross-save functionality for the Google Stadia, supporting its multi-platform users into a singular account. More details to follow in the near future, it comes out this September 17th alongside Shadow Keep. Doom 2016 Alongside Doom Eternal, id Software's hardcore first-person demon shooter is also coming out on the Stadia. Although there's really nothing new about this port, Stadia aims to provide the quality gameplay that this game has on the other consoles. Since the game runs via streaming, there might be a few hiccups with its quality, but we'll see more of that once we get our hands on the game. Doom Eternal Another one of Google's third-party partners, id Software is also set to bring their creations to the new platform. Already announced to come to PC and consoles this year, the sequel to their Doom reboot is about to make waves on the Stadia too. According to reports, Doom Eternal will be running at 60 frames per second with 4K resolution and HDR on the Stadia. That's some eye-popping numbers for the hellish first-person shooter. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 The latest installment of Bandai Namco's hybrid Dragon Ball title. Help yourselves to their time-bending plots to take on the game's blend of RPG and fighting. Already released on the PC, PS4, Xbox One, and the Switch, it got pretty decent marks across the board. But how exactly will it perform on the new Google platform? We'll get to find out soon. Farming Simulator 19 Okay, so this might not be the most taxing of all the games on this list, but its players might still come to benefit in its inclusion in the Stadia roster. Selling 2 million copies and getting its very own eSports League, which awards the best virtual former, it goes to show that Focus Home Interactive is all serious about their latest farming simulation title. Final Fantasy 15 Looks like Square Enix is on Google's side with this new Stadia power. The critically acclaimed role-playing game takes players once again into an enthralling world where fantasy meets reality. Meet Prince Noctis and the boys as they go on an epic journey of brotherhood, love, and despair. It comes with all the latest free DLCs that the game had since day one. Football Manager, another simulation game. It's getting the same story as Farming Simulator 19. While it might not be the best at maximizing the Stadia's 4K potential, this launch title will definitely make full use of the platform's interconnectivity feature. In a game that demands a meticulous attention to detail, players will be able to keep up with their teams wherever and on whatever device they have. 
get packed. Launching exclusively for the Stadia, this game is making us sink our teeth into their juicy and fun-looking couch co-op game. Built for up to four players, Get Packed is jam-packed with comical shenanigans, ridiculous ragdoll physics, and all-around object and objective-based catastrophe. It's an over-the-top multiplayer for anyone with a taste for destruction and explosions. Grid. A racer is coming to the stadia and it's a racer by the virtuosos of the genre code masters themselves. Two facts that are exciting on their own. But unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be Codemasters in their best form. Not getting quite the reviews they wanted on the Steam, this might prove a worthy alternative to the Codemasters title. Guilt A Stadia exclusive and it's from none other than the delightful indie studio Tequila Works. Impressing the world with their vibrant quiet of their adventure game rhyme, Guilt shows them hitting a different kind of note. Exploring the survival horror genre out of their previous hit, Deadlight, Guild seemingly compels with its mix of puzzle, adventure, horror, and heart. Just Dance When the groove hits, you just gotta dance. It looks like Google is willing to put up their services for the joy of dancing along with their primary third-party partners, Ubisoft. The 11th installment of the series, Just Dance 2020, will feature big names like Ariana Grande, Cardi B, Panic at the Disco, and even Blackpink. Offering their own on-demand subscription, we don't exactly know how that will stack up to Stadia's own subscription price. Hopefully, dancing to the beat won't cost you your wallet. Metro Exodus Another unexpected turn of events takes Deep Silver's post-nuclear first-person shooter to the Stadia. Survive the nuclear winter as you search for a new beginning in the post-apocalyptic Moscow. Artyom returns with even better upgrades and tools to help him fight mutated creatures and Pasco techno cults. Despite Epic's one-year contract, looks like Exodus has no problem reaching out to another console, except for Steam. Mortal Kombat 11 Fighting games are always welcome during console launches. Google's partnership with NetherRealm takes us to the epic fight to the death. MK11 brings the gore and viscera to the stadia in all its wonder. This fighting game supports 4K graphics, HDR, 60 frames, and a sweet 5.1 surround sound provided if your internet speed is fast enough. NBA 2K 2K is also set to arrive on the Google Stadia with their flagship NBA series. With the upcoming platform, NBA 2K is ready to level up the immersion by letting you join in on the games of your favorite streamers using their crowd play feature. Other than this cool new feature, it will also include other tools for content creators and streamers. What these are, we are sure to find out as we come closer to the platform's launch later this year. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid San Francisco-based game developer Enway's Power Rangers fighting game. Meet your favorite heroes from the vast Power Rangers universe and let them battle in a battle of epic proportions. With over 12 playable characters and more in its season pass, it's the ultimate fan service for hardcore Power Rangers fans. Although it was already out on the Xbox One and the Switch last March, its Stadia version comes out sometime this year. Rage 2 Rage 2 is pulling out all the stops in terms of reckless destruction, vehicular action, and satisfying shooting. As more and more games pivot towards online multiplayer, Rage meanwhile puts all their focus on pivoting a single-player experience. Set 30 years after the first game, the post-apocalypse is radiating with new life. Get your hands on some freakish radioactive powers and participate in the many delights of this wild open world. The sheer scale of this game on the Stadia is something we should look forward to. Too. Samurai Showdown Nothing like a trip back to memory lane. SNK's beloved classic makes a grand return to the modern generation platforms. It was one of those games that shaped the future of arcade gaming alongside Capcom's Street Fighter. This reboot of the series takes players between the events of the original title and Samurai Showdown 5. Powered by the Unreal Engine 4, expect Stadia's cloud streaming feature in an improved presentation of the fighting game we once knew and loved. This fresh new title brings along all the familiar combat and characters from the original with added twist. It's coming sometime this year. 
The Elder Scrolls Online You may also enjoy the extent of the Elder Scrolls series with the entrance of Bethesda's MMORPG. While the Switch port might have brought Skyrim to the portable format, this TDU release will let you stream your own medieval fantasy adventures on whichever screen you choose. With some complaints already logged at the ESO servers, there are a few worries about the input lag that might occur on top of the usual kinks. Thumper, Jules Fresh Rhythm Violence title is also making its appearance to the Google Stadia. Play as a space beetle in a neon-lit adventure across the encompassing void. Encounter strange Lovecraftian entities and take them all out at the time your button presses to its dark tunes. Overcome multiple levels with increasing difficulty and show your mettle against the creeping darkness of space. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition Also slated for the Stadia is the first rebooted Tomb Raider title in its definitive form. While it's the most dated Lara Croft adventure, this definitive version might also be presented with the same eye-popping HD that the other Stadia titles will offer, as well as the YouTube integration they showed off in the presentation. Shadow of the Tomb Raider The iconic heroine is jumping into the fray too. The third entry to the rebooted Lara Croft series, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, served as a jump-off point in Stadia's presentation. With the game's many environmental puzzles, it got to show off the Google's platform's YouTube integration, allowing for a Google Assistant to get you through the difficult parts with strategy videos and walkthroughs with a single click on the Stadia controller. Rise of the Tomb Raider Lara Croft's second adventure in Crystal Dynamics reboot is looking good. All Tomb Raider titles are coming out on the Stadia. In Rise, aid Lara in her quest to find the secret to immortality, travel to the frozen tundra of Siberia, and overcome numerous natural threats. With Stadia, it supports the ultimate visual experience including 4K and 60fps. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint John Brenthal might be your worst enemy in this latest Ghost Recon title. Following the polarizing reception of Wildlands, Breakpoint manages to improve upon the previous game's shortcomings in terms of gameplay, content, and multiplayer experience. The new open world of Aurora is breathtaking. Players assume the role of Nomad and defeat an enemy with the same skill sets as you are. It comes out this 4th of October. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 Ubisoft's other sequel to their Tom Clancy title, The Division 2 takes players into a new and improved third-person shooter experience set in a post-apocalyptic world. Alongside Breakpoint, Ubisoft is feeling generous with a huge list of their IPs to Google Stadia. Its new subscription service, Uplay Plus, will encourage more players to play for more Ubisoft and Stadia content once the game releases on the platform. Trials Rising In addition to its Season 2 content, Trials Rising is also making its way to the Google Stadia. The motor game from Ubisoft includes a slew of new content, including a new ranked game mode called Medieval Motor Mayhem. It brings new ways for players to get competitive and climb the leaderboards. The game comes out on the Stadia sometime this November. The Crew 2 One of the most beautiful-looking racing games is zooming its way to the Stadia 2. The Crew 2 is the ultimate racing experience as players can seamlessly compete with other players in the lands, waters, and skies. Using a multitude of vehicles, select the best and free roam across the urban jungles of the United States. Releasing this November. Wolfenstein Young Blood. Set a year or two after their recent Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, this standalone spin-off will see protagonist BJ Blazkowicz relinquishing the center stage to his two twin daughters. Taking us back to the alternate 80s, feel the groovy vibes of Nazi America as you embark on a brand new co-op adventure. It comes out on the Stadia sometime this year. Marvel's Avengers Square Enix's mysterious Marvel IP is developed with the same studio that gave us the rebooted Tomb Raider series. Not connected to the MCU of any sorts, this action-adventure game is a co-op-driven story where you control the OG Avengers. Players can team up with other players and master extraordinary abilities that fit the playstyle of their chosen heroes. They can even combine powers to turn the tide of battle. Crystal Dynamics promised this title to redefine the superhero genre in gaming. As long as you ignore the not so Chris Evans and Scarlett Johansson like hackers, you're in for a treat. Coming this May 15, 2020. 
And that is it for today's video. If you loved it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to become a certified What's a Player. See you guys next time. Bye!